This is probably the stupidest thing you could possibly do. Hey, buddy! Don't bite me! Hi guys and welcome back to Airgun Evolution. This is a random shot video. So it's basically every shot that I've taken probably for a year, year and a half now of just random pests in and around my backyard. And individually, they can't be in a, a video all together. You put them all together and they can be in a video all together. It's weird how that works, right? So the thing is anything that's gonna be shot with a mil dot reticle or using the ATN X sight is gonna be with my 22 caliber Marauder pistol and anything shot with a reticle that has slashes instead of dots is gonna be shot with the Taipan Veteran 22 cal shorty. Here it is. I watched Ted's video on how to quickly clean a rabbit. I double breadcrumbed it, fried it down in some oil, and it was absolutely delicious. Simply amazing. I can't wait to do it again. I line up for a headshot on the squirrel, and as I pull the trigger, he ducks his head out of the way. And if you watch, the pellet zips his tail and just grazes his tail. Now remember, everything you're seeing here is in slow motion, so for every one second real time, you're actually seeing eight seconds slow motion. So this is happening a lot quicker than it really appears. Tracking the squirrel for a follow-up shot, I notice he's doing something really weird. He's only backing up. He's not walking forward. He's just backing up in this really weird defensive posture. At the time, I didn't know why he was doing it, but now that I know I grazed him in the tail, it's perfectly understandable I'd be doing the same thing too. He runs up the tree and I line up for another headshot. And wouldn't you know, as soon as I pull the trigger again, he moves his head, but only this time the pellet impacts him in the shoulder and neck area and drives through for a nice vital shot. He falls from the tree. I think I got a headshot, but I notice that he's not flopping around like a typical headshot squirrel would do. I reload and go for a final headshot just to make sure he's down and out quickly.
This is another lucky squirrel. Once again, as soon as I pull the trigger, he moves his head instantly, almost the same exact time. The pellet zings right on by and just hits the tin roof of the barn harmlessly.
Got it? Yep. Dude, that was quick. I found a really rare woodchuck, I guess. It's an all black woodchuck, and it's the only one that I've ever seen, and I've asked around, got back answers. You know, we've never seen one, so it's right here. And this guy is pure black. You can see there, pure woodchuck, pure black. I watched a two minute YouTube video on this, so I'm officially 100% a bona fide expert. I've never cut one of these guys open before so I'm assuming their skin's gonna be really tough. Let me cut this way with the grain. Probably help if I had a sharp knife. Okay we're in there now. Kinda wanna put my foot there and just pull up. <laughs> I'm thinking that might actually work. You think? Super unique, very pretty. All right, guys, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. See it's dark beyond the light. I know you have.